Hello my fellow underdogs, this is 40 Warrior, and welcome to my LP for this channel, Ratchet Deadlocked. Ratchet Deadlocked, in my opinion, is an awesome game, obviously, because I'm playing it. If I wasn't an awesome game, in my opinion, I wouldn't be playing this, so now that we got the, that out of the way, let's jump into this. And, well, we're going to be doing a new game because, yeah, we're going to be doing a new game. I'm not going to start you off uh, midway through. Yes, I wished over, right? And we have four difficulties and a fifth, which is Exterminator, which is unlocked unlockable by being the game. However, some of the stuff I'm going to be doing, I can't do an exterminator, so we're going to go to the next best thing, hero, which will kick my face in quite a bit, actually. So you guys can go ahead and enjoy that. One week ago, somewhere in the shadow sector. has now eliminated a record 13 contestants in the regular season. <laughs> Things blew up. Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean... Right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Uh, greetings, Mayor. I... No, no, no. Um, well, long time no see. Uh, no. Uh, so, Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> uh, greetings, c -c 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 Captain. Ooh. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway... I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. What happened? Apparently, he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport, something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man, Gleeman Vox. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Well, how convenient. No less than ten seconds after. You, the Lombax, known as Ratchet. Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? So, yes, if you can't tell, Ratchet just got yoinked. By the same Dread Zone contestants he was told to, well, watch out for. Progress is saving. Do not turn off console, just like every other Ratchet gang game out there. Six hours ago, at Dread Zone headquarters. Yeah! Captured subject 209, Mr. Vox. Excellent. Bring him in. Yes, sir. We caught two strays in the process. Should we terminate them? Give him collars and see if he can get some work out of them first. Present time in an uncertain location. Not quite the same when it's present time, is it? Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably no, a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? How many am I holding up? The Oops. answer was two middle fingers. It looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual oh, matrix so processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my. I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuit. Typical I, 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 ratchet. Take a look at it. Interrupt, interruptions now, of. Um, 
imminent Let's swearing. See if I wired that teleportation circuitry right. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. And of course, this game doesn't want to give you a time function until, well, not now-ish. So yeah, and a lot of time, which is the ever so strict time limit of infinity. That makes sense to you? Good. Now explain it to me because I didn't get it. So anyway. We must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Wee! Turn to face the hollow target on the right, then fire. Wee! Pew! Good. Now shoot the hollow target above you. Um, I'm pretty All sure I can right, do this with my eyes your closed. Circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. So unlike Ratchet and Clank games where, you know, Clank is with you and you can't... You can do certain things like float or high jump or long jump or whatever the hell. You're I just free moving Ratchet, so that's kind of... of the area. Can you see it? Kind of a unique aspect the to this game, and one of the reasons I consider this to be enemies. a Black Sheep game. I'm reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. But it's still got the, you know, the Ratchet feeling because, well, it's Ratchet. It's giant ass weapons, completely unnecessary firepower, and they make fun of heads of certain things. In this case, obviously, with Vox News, or Vox Channel. Good, Ratchet. There should be a yeah, do I have to add two, two together? To I didn't think so. Of the qualification course. But overall, it's still a fun game, but it's more battle-oriented. And I know because I have up your arsenal that they don't start you off in lock strafe mode. That's sort of different in itself, because I think what they did was they put it in third person, but nope. This game, they give you the default lock strafe mode, which is actually my favorite mode, because it's sort of... It sort of has that future um, future feeling whenever you're playing um, a any shoot 'em up like uh, Mass Effect, Call of Duty, etc., et Halo, etc., etc., etc. So I kind of like the lock strafe mode. And that includes not having these inverted at all. But that's just me. And it looks like... Oh, uh, for a minute there, it looks like Matt Ratchet was moonwalking. That would have been awesome. Greetings, hero. And welcome to Dread Zone. Rest assured, you are now far beyond the reach of hope. There will be no rescues, no pardons, no possibility of escape. You are now a contestant on the greatest television program that Galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the Shadow Sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. And obviously, needless to say, there is no escape. You die. Ratchet, I have figured Helpful out a way best to just to be displayed here regularly, such as this one. Anyway, here's our first enemy. This is the blade ball. Gets close to you, then it'll start uh, shooting out buzzsaw blades or what whatever. And we start off with two weapons. Mike, shut up. We start off with the dual vipers, which is basically two pea shooters. Only good for minor enemies like that, but once you get enemies like this, well, the magma can. It's a shotgun, pretty much. It's also annoying as hell, because it's not very powerful. It's the obligatory sluggish. Oh, Charlie. It's the obligatory sluggish shotgun. Note the deadlock collar securely fastened around your neck. This collar cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Poor robot. Should a contestant become uncooperative, or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Ooh. Well, there you have it. Nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> right? 
Okay, that's Tap that's a bad pun. Switch between recently used weapons. I'll be using that later on, but for right now it's it the utterly course. useless Check because well, be I only got two weapons. Nearby. Use the teleporter to meet me back at our dread zone containment area. So that's simple enough. This place is crazy. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. Spoil sport. I just want to blow things up because that's just Welcome, me. Hero. I'm trigger happy. So anyway, we have a new weapon, which is basically a grenade launcher. Base 6 Hope Literary, I'm going to want to get that. <laughs> it was voted Weapon of the Year by the Galactic Association of Ridiculously Unnecessary Firepower, or Garuf, if you prefer. Gratuitous Destruction, that is fine with me. And here is the Acid Mod. This is an Omega Mod. You can put these on as many weapons as you want, and they all do very helpful things. This one is like Poison. It just poisons an enemy, and you watch it lose hit points gradually, and maybe even kill itself. Parental supervision recommended for children under 5 years of age, though. Wouldn't want to get a 3-year-old to get a hand of this poison, huh? You'll be sleeping one day and uh, the kid decides he's going to prank you by putting uh, the poison in your hand and then does the whole um, shaving cream trick except with the poison and you end up with a melted face by the morning. We don't want that. Your new living quarters. So it's nice your of them to containment suite be is equipped um, with considerate of that. As a so, 5 years of age. Please make yourself comfortable. You're Here's a ranko meter. This is a little crap. Of your life here. Well, thank you for the um Ratchet, you should go find Al. blunt bluntness. We'll be spending the, the rest of our lives here. Think... Well, well, guys, I guess this is an infinite part LP. And Al once again is being annoying. Hey, Al. <laughs> hey Ratchet. I thought I killed all Cordy uh, Gears in the last game. Show you. Meet your new battle bots. Call me Merc. This here's green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who, um, won't be needing them anymore. Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. I kind of like the robots, though. They're actually pretty funny and... I think they add more than Clank does, but Clank is, well, Clank, so... It's not Ratchet and Clank in this game, but other games it's Ratchet and Clank, not Ratchet and BattleBots. And sometimes you get weapons, you unlock paint jobs as you go further through the game. I kind of like this one for right now. Heads, same thing. The shield link is kind of unnecessary at this point in time, and obviously I can't afford it, so it doesn't matter to begin with. Woohoo! And now all we gotta do is talk to Clank. You haven't been in country? You know, seen combat? Me? Yeah, before I came here, I saw a little action. It didn't end too well. I got my legs blown off. But I was top of my class in boot camp. Hey, you ought to go say hi to Clank. He's so apparently Green the did live the, the um, bullet to the I knee meme, which doesn't exist. It's actually error to the knee, to the knee, but whatever. I'll just go ahead and say it was a hey, mine. Nice digs. Um, Better that digs? way. I mean... What's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's his face? Figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Uh, hem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. You're next up in the battle dome after Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it. Ratchet, I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. Nope, they're messing with a guy that saved, uh, how many galaxies? With weapons that are bigger than him? Attention, hero. Report to the Battle Dome transport shuttle immediately. Well, that's gonna Failure wait till to the next comply. part. Will result in termination. Quit sounding like you're gonna end your message and not end it. Well, that's gonna end this part, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the Battle Dome next time. And we can start blowing up shit for realsies. 
because the wep the enemies we faced earlier, well, that's just the tip of the iceberg. See you guys then, 40 Warrior, signing off.